हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू ईपीजी पाठशाला प्रोग्राम मैं सेल्फ डॉक्टर शुभव्रत दत्त आई एम प्रोफेसर एंड हेड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सोशल वर्क असम सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी सिचुएटेड इन सिलचर एंड नाउ विल डिस्कस गंधियन मॉडल ऑफ रूरल डेवलपमेंट अंडर द कोर्स रूरल डेवलपमेंट यू ऑल नो द गांधी जी द फादर ऑफ द नेशन has a vision and has worked towards the development of the rural areas in our country and in warda 1935 he has conducted some programs over there and he showed to the nation how specifically the rural development should be and according to his vision it has treated as the gandhian model of rural development If you just see the Mahatma Gandhi as the visionary of India had a very clear perception of its villages and made an emphatic assertion that India lives in her seven and half lakhs of villages during our independence that much number of villages we had and he had a vision that that should be the target because India lives over there he further believed that India will have to live in villages not in towns in hearts not in palaces he held his conviction by saying that if villages persist india will persist too that means india lives in villages and that villages should be pro progress make progress and accordingly the country will progress gandhi ji played the leading role in securing for indian political independence from british raj through organizing and mobilizing indian people from all walks of life in a peaceful and non-violent manner basically here when he was doing work for the political independence simultaneously his work for the rural development was going on he is therefore called the father of the nation that's why he has been given the term father of the nation the so gandhi ji's approach to india's rural development was holistic and people centered people is the center and accordingly all the work to be conducted and planned accordingly it was rooted in his conviction in the tenets of truth non violence and the godness of human beings influenced he was influenced by tolstoy ruskin as well as the teaching of gita he placed more emphasis on moral and spiritual values than economic motives as a means of overall development that means not only the infrastructural development not only the materialistic development his emphasis is more on the spirituality and the overall development of a human being he found that the progress of the country lies in the development of majority of its rural villages develop rural economy industry and rural skills His emphasis was rural based industry that is cottage industries and others to be promoted and rural skills to be improved. Gandhi ji found the only way of bringing hope of good living to the rural people is by making the village as a central place in the economic program rural development as outlined by Gandhi ji contained self sufficiency interdependence for other ones and development of village industry that means village will be self sustained in nature in a village people will be able to produce whatever their basic needs are there and to meet those needs that was the basic objectives behind this concept he wanted to bring about rural reconstruction with sound scientific and spiritual values scientific definitely scientific technology should be used but with a spiritual motive and through his 18 point constructive program successfully implemented his rural reconstruction activities in sebagram center near warda in 1935 that is the first he has taken the program over there and how his dream towards indian villages gandhi ji's ideal village belongs to the pre british period when indian villages were the small republics when the british came actually they destroyed this republic nature or the independence nature of the villages so gandhi ji's ideal village was 
that prayers was and that that will be remain and but the progress will take place that was the another vision the republican the Repub the republican character of the villages was destroyed by the british rule so gandhiji aimed at the attainment of village swaraj what he said in 1942 gandhiji fully understand the consequence of western type of industrialization in india he was aware how westernization through industrialization are taking place in india he was conscious on the fact that far industrialization would destroy the indian society by eliminating our decentralized rural industries and further leads to improvement actually he was not confident enough or he was not in support of that large base industrial production and the development because he thought through this our rural character will destroy the once self sufficient and self contained rural villages have been drained progressively he wanted to re reverse this trend and bringing about rural reconstruction based on sound scientific and spiritual values so he was against such large scale industrial de revolutions development and which is not going to be very close to the villages spiritual life and development so automatically he was thinking that basic sound and spiritual values to be provided into the based on the rural reconstruction so he got is said my ideal village will contain intelligent human beings they will not live in a dirt and darkness as animals men and women will be free and able to hold their own against anyone in the world there will be neither plague nor cholera nor smallpox none will be ideal no one will wallow in luxury everyone will have to contribute his quota of manual labor it is possible to envisage the railways post telegraphs and the like that is what he ideally said what he was looking for that both men and women will be able to free and will contribute no one will be in a very hard condition not there will be people who will live in a very luxurious life there should be some contributory natures over there gandhian strategy of rural reconstruction was based on village swaraj and swadeshi movement what already i said that both should go simultaneously village swaraj as well as swadeshi movement the basic principle of village swaraj as outlined by gandhi ji are trusteeship swadeshi full employment bread labor self sufficiency decentralization quality and naya talim etc i am coming for discussions on this thus the idea of ideal village on a gandhian dream was comprehensive one encompassing the economic social political and educational dimensions gandhi ji gave emphasis on truth and non violence in every aspect of human life and accordingly he said the swaraj of my opinion will come only when all of us are firmly persuaded that our swaraj has got to be own worked and maintained through truth and ahimsa that is the two main contents he was having now what are the values underlying through his model the gandhian model of rural development is based on the following values first one is the rural india is found not in cities but in the villages second one the revival of villages is possible only when the villagers are no more exploited that means gandhi ji has a belief that city life means it is the exploitation of the villagers exploitation of villages by city dwellers was a violence according to his opinion next one simple living and high thinking implying the voluntary reduction of materialistic wants and pursuit of moral and spiritual principles supplied that means someone will voluntarily will reduce and will leave the materialistic wants and will go for a simple living and high thinking dignity of labor everyone must earn his bread by physical labor and one who labors must necessarily get his subsistence that means no ideality over there everybody should have a labor in their attitude performance to the use of indigenous that means swadeshi products services and institutions there should be a balance between the aims and means 
Gandhiji believed that non-violence and truth could not be sustained unless a balance between the ends and means was maintained. He was thinking that the different components to be brought into there. The first component is the self-sufficient village economy. Gandhiji's concept of self-sufficiency was not a narrow one, nor was it that of selfishness of, or arrogance. He realized the need for villages to get those things from outside the village which they could not produce in the villages. That means he believed that the, if a villager needs to get something from the outside that they may not afford to get it. So it is better if the village have a sufficiency and interdependence among the villages that would be more meaningful to them to meet their needs. He suggested that villages should be self-sufficient, that is they should produce their own food, clothing and other articles needed for meeting their basic needs. He insisted on the promotion of village or cottage industries and handicrafts because they can provide employment one-sided and necessary to meet the basic needs of the villagers and also to facilitate village self-sufficiency. That means if villagers produce their products automatically employment will generate automatic and on the side they will get their requirement necessities and needs from the places and he also thinking that village self-sufficiency will get them a confidence too next one is the decentralization Gandhiji believed that human happiness with mental and moral development should be the supreme goal of society and that this goal should be achieved through decentralization of political and economic powers. And he believes that village republic can be built only through decentralization of social and political power. In such a system, decision making power will be vested on the village panchayat rather than in the state or the national capital. The representatives would be elected by all adults for a fixed period of five years, the elected representatives would constitute a council that is called the Panchayat. Panchayati Raj and what basically the concept is that decentralized and decentralization that means the Panchayatis exist in India from the Ramayana's time and Mahabharata's time. So Gandhiji was saying that should have a, some statute recognitions. And Gandhiji emphasized that each village in India would be a republic where a village panchayat would be have the full power of meaning its affairs including defense. He expected that panchayat to perform the legislative, executive, judicial functions necessary for smooth functions of village economy. Various development activities such as education, health, sanitation would also be taken up by the village panchayat. The vehicle that was most ideal to initiate both political and economic democracy at the grassroots level was the Panchayati Raj system. So Gandhiji has a dream that Panchayati Raj should be the main focus into the decentralization and that would actually administer the entire village development programs and the village economy. Then Khadi and village industries, already I said the Gandhiji has a focus of the small and cottage based industries for employment generation as for meeting their basic needs. So Khadi was an instrument of decentralization of production and distribution of basic necessities of life and ensuring work for all, what he says. He also favored the promotion of other village industries such as hand grinding, hand pounding, soap making, paper making, metal, uh, metal making, oil seeds, crushing, tanning, etc. which is very simple technology required and raw materials available in the village itself. He advocated the use of manual labor and opposed the introduction of machine fearing that they would displace human labor. But he appreciated the role of new technologies if they were appropriate, indigenous and did not affect the level of employment and standard of living. So always he was in favor of labor oriented machines through the technology that will generate employment and that will generate the productions in a better way. Then the cooperatives. Gandhiji saw a great virtue in cooperation as an instrument of rural development. He assigned specific roles to cooperatives in the field of agriculture, commanding the promotion of cooperatives farming and thereby preventing further fragmentation of land holding. That means there were landlords. So if the small farmers 
comes together and make a cooperation cooperatives and through this better production possibilities are possible india now has the world largest network of cooperatives which occupy the important place in india's rural economy the operation flood program is a living example of what cooperatives can do to promote agricultural and rural development in india and then trusteeship gandhi ji considered trusteeship as an instrument of transforming the capitalist order of society into an egalitarian one in his opinion all the land belong to god that is the community and therefore he advocated that land and other natural resources should be collectively owned by and operated for the welfare of the community in his time there is a jamindar raj was there so due to that large land holdings were taken by the jamindars so he was thinking that if trusteeship can be prepared then the land will be go to the trusts and accordingly the farmers can come and make the production that will be more in quantity and more earnings possibilities are there according to gandhi trusteeship is the way of life rather than just a method of achieve a particular end that should be a regular habitual practice according to the holistic approach everything on this earth belongs to god and is from the god so ownership individual ownership he was not in much favor into that rather he favor trusteeship and earlier i said cooperation and the cooperatives village sanitation the ideal village envisaged by gandhi ji could be constructed on the basis of the principles of public hygiene and sanitation because that is very essential that hygienic living and proper sanitation into the village areas the houses which are to be built with locally available material and would have sufficient light and ventilation that means hygienic condition to be maintained each house or a cottage shall have a courtyard to grow vegetables for domestic consumption and to house cattle that means earlier what i said that a self sufficiency that means house itself will have a vegetables garden and that will be fulfill their domestic consumption as well as their cattle they are uh, keeping that will also meet their needs too the village streets and lanes should be kept clean the habit of sanitation should be there each village shall have its own water works to ensure clean water supply that means village itself should have a water reservoir for the same removal of untouchability untouchability is a social level and should not be looked upon as a merely political necessity the socio economic evils associated with this system must be abolished we all know the gandhi ji has always fought against the untouchability because it is the heinous crime in the human earth and untouchability makes an human being morally down into the nature according to gandhi ji there should be perfect social equality among the people the society no social superiority should be entertained by any individual or by a section of the society on the ground of birth or knowledge or religion or any other consideration that means human being is the above all whether the birth knowledge religion or other consideration cannot be treated as a human being for his or her recognition in 1932 gandhi ji introduced horizon shevak sangh a non political association for their self improvement that means a section of population was treated as untouchables by another section of population so those were treated as untouchables with them gandhi ji formed the horizon shevak sangh and he suggested their economic self reliance through the adoption of spinning and weaving for them he has started the spinning and weaving programs for their own self reliance naya talim it is an educational pattern gandhi ji has certain objections towards the modern system of education that in time so he had to faith in the modern education which emphasized only literacy and acquisition of information in his opinion modern education was debentry of the mind hence he de- developed new system of appropriate education and training which is called naya talim 
His new pattern of education treated by the name Nayat Talim. He believed that Nayat Talim would be help to develop the full potential of children and adults through full development of their bodies, minds and spirits. Actually, spiritual development was always in the center into the Gandhiji's mind. And accordingly, what he is saying that the new Nayat Alim system of education will be provide the full potential scope of development of the children, adults for their bodies, minds and spirits. He wanted to see Nayat Alim to be self-supporting and practice oriented. Now there are different positive as well as negative pros and cons on the Gandhian models. Those who are in favor, they argued that the, under the prevailing socio-cultural economic condition in India, the Gandhian model is still relevant and is the only alternative viable for bringing about equitable and sustainable rural development. If we just see the different successful cooperative programs, whether it is the programs of Amul, whether it is programs of Lijat Mapur, this is actually the Gandhi's concept of cooperatives. Still, it is relevant today. Second thing is that the assets of Panchayat Raj institutions is the foremost and been treated 73rd and 74th amendment that is Panchayat Raj institutions and municipality and municipal corporations are the best innovation after the independence in independence India. So what Gandhiji thought and visualized still a proportionate of that is very much relevant until today's Indian present socio, political, cultural and economic conditions. There are certain point sides of the model also. Like someone says the Gandhiji was always opposed of the large-scale industrial production. Is it possible in the today's globalized and liberalized condition, large-scale production will not be takes place? So definitely there is a requirement of the large-scale production. But what Gandhiji's views, it is not supportable, but it is required. Whereas the spiritual kind of education is required, but technological education is also in need because without that progress cannot be possible because lot of innovation and invention in the area of technological side have been taken place but on the other hand trusteeships that is also example and have taken this example by the other countries also so that is very much supportive manual labor manual labor day by day will reduce we cannot ignore that but different technologies are there that could have been used if it is not then Gandhian model is not supportive in that direction so there are both the ways it is relevance in certain areas it is certain areas questionable we cannot say that is it is irrelevant certain areas it is challenged or it is questionable as per the Gandhian model are concerned so now in this total sessions, we started with the concept of what Gandhiji's visions. His visions is the village self-sufficiency. And the villagers itself should be self-sufficient enough to meet their own basic needs, to create their own employment with the simple technologies and to produce their products. And they will be interdependent among the villagers. And the villagers should not be under any circumstances, would be the subject of exploitation for the development of the cities and town. So, at the last, to sum up, we can say that is the Gandhiji was in a belief that in the village sufficiency, self-sufficiency. That means the villages will be self-sufficient to produce their own product to meet their basic needs, and there should be an interdependent among the villages, and the villages never be subject of exploitation for the development of the cities and towns. Gandhiji has always the two visions that is the Ahimsa and Swaraj. 
both that means non violence and swaraj both will go together he was in favor of simple technologies oriented innovative products if the simple technology can enhance the skill of the villagers so that it can generate employment and it can produce the products of their needs they should produce their own food clothing and articles that will meet their basic requirements and also this will create employment gandhi ji was in favor of cooperatives and trusteeship through this village economy will have to the control for the all not only under the few individuals who are the landlords or the zamindars so he believed through the cooperatives and trusteeship the ownership will be on the majority's hand and everything in this earth is under the control of god he was in favor of naya talim that means is different kind of education not only the modern education what was going on because he was think he in his thinking it was not in favor of the spiritual and cultural development of a human being he was always in trust that village should be fully sanitized in nature that means fully hygienic in nature they should have been a practice of make themselves very clean so that their health life as well as the sanitations and the cleanliness will remain into the villages gandhi ji was in favor of the decentralization of the system and that's why he was in favor of the panchayat raj where village republic will look after the village administration village development and overall the progress of the villages the representative of the villagers will look after themselves not only it will not be controlled by the state or by the nation the model has both pros and cons somewhere it is in favor some of the programs are challenging in today's conditions with this this session ends and for more explanation understanding you can go for the e text that would be supplied and there are certain references are also given that would be helpful for you thank you